Hey guys, Brad from Teen Crimson here with Zach the Great, the awesome, the stupendous, the uh, running out of words. Yeah, the the great, the great's fine. All right, so today we are going to be talking about meta analysis post uh, the answer of truth. I don't know why I always mess up that name. I don't know. Like literally every time we talked about it, I was like, wait, what's the name of that? Is that called? Nobody cares. Lots of people care. No. I don't care, so therefore, nobody cares. <laughs> okay. <Next. laughs> All right, so uh, we're talking about meta-analysis. So how we do these videos is I gather a bunch of information uh, and, uh, you know, we look at week one results and look at week two results. You always have to take week one results with a pinch of salt because people are testing decks. People don't know how to counteract decks, everything like that. And then, uh, so week two is a, a little bit slightly more favored in that, in the results department. But also, um, I like to uh, kind of give points, give extras for decks that topped in bigger tournaments, whereas you kind of uh, downgrade decks that topped in lesser tournaments, like shop tournaments, and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. I've had a lot of questions asked about that lately, so... I hope I explained it well. If I did not, just ask me more questions. It's fine. I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. But anyways, anyways, <laughs> uh, so we're going to be talking about uh, the top five, technically the top six, uh, well, that's what we like to do, <laughs> uh, the top six uh, clans. One being OTT. The one is always OTT because it's OTT. just, it's OTT. Uh but uh, the top five clans, they're in no particular order. Um, well, they kind of are in order, but uh, one of these clans topped way more than the other ones. But uh, the other ones uh, are all pretty, mostly even. So these, these are uh, the top decks after this set, post this set. That's the idea. That's the general idea. General idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 What he said. Yeah. 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 All right, so, <laughs> all right, so, uh, uh, deck number one, deck number one, all right, well, no, we'll, we'll other work, than OTT, we'll, we'll work our way down, I guess, uh, deck number five, deck number five, uh, is Genesis, so, yeah, Genesis actually came swinging out of the gate, it had, uh, it had quite a few tops, and it actually had, a pretty much the same amount of tops uh, going into week two. Um, it's just a pretty strong deck, you know? It's Force, it's got uh, Himiko, 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 how do you pronounce his name? I have no idea. I don't care enough. What, <laughs> what? what good are you? Uh, <laughs> discount OTT with Force instead of Protect is winning. There you go. Hopefully, none of you Genesis players are out there <laughs> listening to this while he's... Um, yeah, so, uh, it's it's a it's a very solid deck. I mean, we're seeing it pop up quite a bit, so... Uh, it's kind of boring to me, but anyways, let's move on to uh, spot number four. You want to read that one? Gear Chronicle. Gear Chronicle. They don't think ass. gear. They're mean. They're... <laughs> I don't like them. They're very rude. Uh, the players, too. Uh, so we got that uh, Mystery Flare is the big one that kind of scared me. But that does, I'm sure, scares everybody. Because all it does is additional turn. Thanks. That's not going to go off, though. But will it? it Maybe. I mean, I don't know. It's, Maybe. I, I mean, how many tops do they have? Quite a few. I don't know. Quite a few. Uh, I've heard that they weren't as uh, consistent as Well, it's you not. Yeah. Yet. That's the problem with the deck is it's not, in my opinion, it's not super consistent just because uh, pretty much the idea is that you're playing um, anywhere from 9 to 12 high grade monsters. So, and it's usually always 4 uh, Lost Legend, always 4 Lost Legend, and then you're usually playing 4 Mystery Flare and one of the other dude, I can't, it, Idealize I think is his name. Uh, and then anywhere from one to four copies of the other dude. So, like, 
I don't know. That's that's a lot that uh, you can screw up, and then you're screwing up the ratios of the deck if you're playing twelve, and it's just. I'm not but a big. It's powerful. I'm not a big fan of it, but yeah, it is. It's powerful. It's very powerful. Mystery flare. And it doesn't CB a lot. Like, really? It doesn't counterblast at all. Well, um, I thought Lost Legend was the one that counterblasts too, and you draw a card or something. Yeah, you can do that, but, but nobody like, does. But I. Th I actually I think you could easily do it and then just because you, you don't have to counter worry about counter blast too much so do they have the counter charger or an engine of some sort that I don't know again because I, I don't, don't know care. if they have a counter charger or not I think they do I wouldn't be surprised I don't know but uh, yeah they're they're in the number four spot um, again just really strong clan um, going into number three and that is actually surprisingly but not surprisingly at the same time great nature uh it had a lot of tops actually mm -hmm. um out of these these next three really are have had major major tops um over the past two weeks um yeah great nature is just uh you know i i I wasn't thinking too much about Great Nature, to be honest, just because, one, it's Excel. Uh, I, I mean, it's nothing against Excel. I love Excel. I think Excel's cool, but it's just with uh, the way Bushy's been handling Excel. They've been watering down Excel a lot. They seem like they're crazy tactical, though. That's true. Like, that's, that's true. why Tachikaze is pretty good. To, well, mm, mm. top-wise, it's not very good, but it seems very tactical. Like, having played them a little bit, it's kind of like you do what you want. They're Excel, but you get to do what you want with them. Mm. And I think that's why they're so good is because they are actually super tactical, especially with the main grade three that they play. That thing is kind of a monster. Um, and the way they have always been is kind of like that. They retire their own rear guards or something and gain power. I know, um, I don't remember his name, School Hunter Leopold is the that's main grade the main three. Grade three yeah. And um, he can activate both of his effects Yes. And they're both deadly effects. They're both crazy intense. I don't exactly know what they are because, again, I don't really care that much. <laughs> but I know that that's a good effect. Yeah, it's a... Uh, I mean, they've had... Uh, uh, it looks like it's... looks like uh, a lot of the decks play crits. Makes sense. Um, seen one or two that plays a couple... That he'll have, like, a couple of fronts kind of just thrown in there. Random. They're good. But, like... Yeah, I mean, like, that's a... Uh, it's doing a lot better than I thought it was going to do. I also thought that the kind of coin flip mentality that it has... Yeah. Of you get this skill or you can get this skill. Like, they're both good. All of them have good skills. Like, mm. the first skill's good, the second skill's good. But depending on the situation, sometimes you want the first skill over the second skill. And that's and why he's so good. Skill? It's because yeah. you can... Uh, just kind of it's it's random is that i think that might be the reason why it's so dangerous is because nobody can predict what's going to happen with random cards kind of like um well you can't really say ott is random because they they set themselves up yeah they set themselves um, up. but it's like that it's like no matter what they get they you know they benefit hmm. all right and uh moving on to the second spot that would be angel feather <laughs> Angel Feather. Because why not? Protect. Protect and recovering damage and... And that damn hospital. And that's stupid. That damn hospital. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd rather get hit by the hospital than get hit by the deer, though. So. That's, that's just me. True. The hospital is mean. They're both going to kill you, but, like, I, I don't know. Aren't hospitals supposed to be for a place to help? <laughs> this is a safe place. Well, it help. It does help. It helps them. <laughs> they give you drugs and stuff, and here you go. It You're helps. all better now. Go home. It helps them. I but instead, this one has a sword, and it stabs <laughs> you straight through the gut, and it says, "Die, die." Sure. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I knew it was dangerous. I knew it was dangerous, and the second I saw it, I'm like, no, it's Waterfall, but it's a hospital! <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so moving on to the Jesus, uh, the number one spot out of all these is frickin' Neonectar. 
Why? Because force and force. tokens and, and tokens. keeping hand size and, and free advantage. 13k base. It's so free. It's stupid. It's stupid. Uh, yeah, just generating tokens, but, gener yeah, generating tokens, generating advantage for virtually free is, it's uh, stupid. is pretty nuts. Stupid. Uh, it's kind of surprising, actually, just because, uh, I mean, I guess it's not surprising that Neonect, because Neonector is a very, very strong force clan, but, like, it is a little surprising, in my opinion, that to see a force that's so prominent, I guess. What's funny is all it's of been these protect, decks protect, protect, protect. kicked off force. Kagero off the top. Yeah, Kagero it's, is officially not, no longer there. All right, yeah. That's weird, because it's been there since day one. OTT is still there, though. Yeah, I, I think it's mostly because, you know, you're not seeing a lot of... Um, I mean, there are protect decks on there. you got the, the OTT still, and you've got... Uh, um, you've got... Uh, Angel Feather, can't think. Um, but, like, yeah, like, you've, you know got, Shadow you've got Excel. You've got Excel. Shadow Paladin actually did pretty well still. They just it's, just, top it's just not in the top. Yeah. It's still weird. In the top six. Uh, Shadow Paladin did pretty well. Royals have uh, dropped off significantly, but that also happened last set, too. So, but, like, we saw them do very, very well post Cyclalia Strife. And then they And then you're all like, whoa, you know, kind of taken back how well they were pretty much doing but then yeah once uh golds and angels and neonectar came out it's like no <laughs> i'm honestly really surprised though that excel an excel clan is up there yeah because yeah. that doesn't seem to happen much anymore there was like for a couple seconds it seemed like that well pale moon was up there for pale moon did a uh... second yeah, Pale Moon had, did real well there for a little while. But it's but... still mainly Force and Protect. Yeah, and then uh, uh, Murakumo. Murakumo has gone too. Real good, but yeah, now Murakumo's gone even. Murakumo is apparently having some difficulties dealing with uh, some of these new clans. Or just people aren't playing it anymore. Mm. You know, there seems to be two sides of the coin when it comes to Murakumo, actually, is that there, there are people that say it's it's a really, really fun deck. And all this stuff. And then there's uh, the other people that say Don't it's play. actually boring as hell and only has the one gimmick. I well, kind yeah. of fall towards that side, but... That's the one way they win, is the one the ability that Zanbaku has. And that's it. That's all they got. It's, it's not it's, unique. It's not fun. It's, it's a good ability. It's just... Stupid. That's That seems to be their only thing. I'm excited uh, for the new one. But anyway... So, yeah, that's about it for meta analysis, guys. Those are the top six, top five, whatever. Um, but uh, we'll be coming at you later in the week, hopefully. We'll post some more, a couple more videos, maybe. And uh, in about two weeks, should be two weeks from whenever we're posting this, uh, will be the set discussion for Miyagi Academy. So that'll be fun. We'll be talking about that set. And that's excited. been there's been some pretty exciting reveals from that so far. The with, tonics. Yeah, with Narakami so far and uh, Nubatama. Oh, that's exciting. And them. And them. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So look for some more videos from us uh, later, guys, and uh, we will see you later. Bye.